Hi, I'm Seth Rosenblatt for Download.com, and today we're taking a first look at the Windows 7 release candidate. In this video, I'm only going to talk about the changes that Microsoft has made to the RC. If you're looking for the first look at Windows 7 Beta, you can search for Windows 7 Beta at CNETTV.com. Also, if this is your first experience with testing out Windows 7, CNET TV has a video explaining how to dual boot Windows 7 with either XP or Vista. So, is this release candidate worth upgrading to? Is it really more than just bug fixes? Turns out, yes it is. There are new features here not found in the beta, and there are changes to older features. One of the coolest new features is that Windows 7 will now natively stream your media files over the internet to another Windows 7 computer. All you need to do is associate both machines with the same Windows Live ID, and Windows Media Player does the rest under the Stream tab. Windows Media Player's now playing mode has been shrunk so that it looks a bit slicker and takes up less screen space. There's also the much discussed XP mode. This allows you to run programs designed for XP in a virtual XP environment. This is aimed more at businesses than home consumers, but it's good to know that Microsoft's virtual PC will support an XP environment that shares the clipboard, printers, and external memory with its Windows 7 host. The new device stage, which creates a baseline environment for all peripherals, has been updated to include basic support for older devices. When they're connected, they'll appear on the taskbar just like a running program would. There's also some frustrating news for Bluetooth audio users. Bluetooth drivers will no longer be baked into Windows 7. You'll have to install your Bluetooth audio driver from its third-party vendor. The RC has made some changes to searching, too. The colors and text have been updated, and the content view now has labels for all properties. Search results include longer snippets of information and uses them more often, which means there's a greater chance that your words from your query will show up. There are two other changes. One is that touch support has been greatly expanded. I don't have a touch screen computer to demonstrate this on, but it includes multi-touch zooming and activating the thumbnail peak just by dragging your finger over the icon. The second is a big security win. Auto run has been disabled for external drives and USB keys. This exploit has been heavily used in Windows XP to transmit viruses and other malware. Not only does 7 continue to look like the operating system we've all been waiting for, Microsoft's dedication to improving it before pushing it out the door bodes extremely well for the future. Don't forget that if you'd like to see other videos about Windows 7, just search for Windows 7 at CNET TV. For CNETdownload.com, I'm Seth Rosenblatt with a first look at the Windows 7 release candidate. Hi, I'm Molly Wood, host of The Buzz Report, the show about the tech news that everybody's talking about. See it every Friday in high def at cnet.com slash buzzreport.